There we go. All right. Everything good now? Let's just check the volume there. Check this one the here. Turn that down just a bit. All right. So to be honest with you, so I have seen um, Ben Shabir's take of the Tyree Nichols, and I thought that it was a pretty sane view. Um, so granted, I used to watch Ben Shapiro fucking religiously. Um, hold on, I gotta get my Twitch up on my phone real quick. Okay. Oh. All right, there we go. So yeah, I thought that his take was fairly reasonable, and then I saw Ben Shapiro's insane take. So I figured I would look at it. To the Tyree Nichols story. Um... Tyree Nichols' case continues apace. The Wall Street Journal reports that three Memphis, Tennessee emergency medical technicians were fired on Monday. Two additional police officers have been relieved from duty as officials continue investigations into the death of Tyree Nichols. The three EMTs were let go after an internal investigation into their actions at the scene of Nichols' January 7th encounter with police following a traffic stop, according to the Memphis Fire Department. The review showed they failed to conduct an adequate patient assessment of Mr. Nichols. The Memphis Police Department said that Officer Preston Hemphill and a second unnamed officer were relieved from duty. The two officers' actions and inaction continue to be the subject of an internal investigation. Police said that Hemphill and the unnamed officer were relieved from duty at the beginning of the investigation. The this people who now been. I'm just going to give you a trigger warning. It's the first day of Black History Month. No, and no you trigger know Ben warning. Shapiro knows that. No trigger okay? warning. He's going to get probably extra racist with it. Work. More racist than he usually is, which is impressive. He's, racist he's always so fucking racist. So is everything racist you know, to you, Hassan? You know my man is going to go extra hard today, okay? As he often does. Like MLK Day, he's like, it's time to pop off. MLK was bad. He was wrong. The civil rights movement is actually... Uh, is morally bankrupt, you know? Like, he... he when did he say he it was morally bankrupt? He specializes. He, like, builds up all of his resentment towards black people from every Do other fucking proof day. Of this? Any and proof channels of this? it in extra hard on uh, days and months like this. Glad to see we are starting Black History Month exactly the same way we did last year. I hope Crowder has some hits. Oh, yeah. Been, ...who have now been fired from the force. Are, two of them are black. One of yeah, them is they've white. They've been fired. The only concern for our media, apparently. Uh, okay. Blip, blip, blip. Officer Hemphill, supposed to be, um, be important? who participated in the initial traffic stop and the use of a taser, will remain on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. The, the use of the taser, by the way, is not obviously the problem with regard to the Tyree Nichols situation. We watched right, the tape yesterday on the show, and we talked about the fact that Tyree Nichols fled on foot as he was leaving. They attempted to take... If you don't fucking bring up the fact that even the fucking police chief said that this was not a warranted traffic stop. It wasn't. He says that multiple you times if you give him two seconds. On the planet. I'm fucking, oh it my wasn't. god, he's already. So what happened with Tyree Nichols was an absolute tragedy. Like, those police officers should have been fired. They should be prosecuted. And they should spend the rest of their life in prison for how bad it was. He doing it. He's fucking doing it. Dog. Dog. How do you mention that he fled on foot after you said... No, he, he has to Amazing. mention it. He's literally still reading it. Give him a sec. So, again, this is, this is more reaction, legal reaction to what appears to be an egregious... He didn't magically start running on foot, dude. He got yoinked out of his fucking car. Again, he's already said this. Yes. For no reason, they literally did not tell him what was going on while beating the shit out of him. Oh my god! Okay, so I didn't That's know they insane. didn't tell him you what did was not going want on. It to uh, the only thing I like, what I remember specifically was them telling him to stop and obviously, or like to stay put, and obviously he didn't. Oh my god, there's no way. Did they show the? But entire it was footage? unjustified. All of it. 
situation. The Memphis Fire Department said on Monday its investigation showed that the three fired EMTs found Nichols handcuffed on the ground and leaning against a police vehicle. It was still Apparently, handcuffed? the department said that they violated numerous MFD protocols and policies. Now, unclear exactly what they were supposed to do at that point or what medical action would have been necessary in order to save Nichols or whether that would have actually materialized in any sort of change for Nichols. <laughs> he did. What? Bro, he's literally, oh my God. Does he think Tyree Nichols is Palestinian? What? Is that what he thinks is going on here? Because he's just... He did I miss something? Nichols handcuffed on the ground and leaning against a police vehicle. Apparently, the department said that they violated numerous MFD protocols and policies. Now, unclear exactly what they were supposed to do at that point or what medical action would have been necessary in order to save Nichols or whether that would have actually materialized in any sort of change for Nichols. <laughs> he did. What? Bro, he's literally, oh my God. Does he think Tyree Nichols is Palestinian? So, what I believe Ben Shapiro is getting at here is that at that point when EMTs like were actually there, there wasn't anything they could do. Like from the sounds of it, he was already too far gone at that point. Is that what he thinks is going on here? Because he's just he literally is talking about it like the IDF. You know what I mean? Like when he when he talks about the IDF and like Palestinians, when he says like Palestinians does live in shit. Nice Israelis like that. the bill. That that energy is coming out of him right now. He he said what warrants medical action by medical professionals? How could they have saved this man? Yes, because at that moment, there's probably too, there's probably too late. That's crazy. Did die at the hospital of internal injuries, is my understanding. In any case, the media continue on their dual narratives of one, the police are bad, and two, <laughs> this is all about race. So Sarah Haynes, the, the, the view is just a repository of all the lowest IQ humans on the planet, apparently. So Sarah Haynes said that, that we can talk about racism because the race of the officers does not matter. All the officers in this particular case, of course, were black. It is only the race of the victim that matters. Oh, God. Why does race have to have any sort of factor into this? I wonder if it gets hard sometimes to be a conservative where you like routinely have to avoid looking at all of the fucking facts of a situation where like everyone is basically saying the same thing in unison, which is that like, and they're correctly saying this, by the way, which is that the police as an institution is acting out in a white supremacist way. Therefore, it doesn't fucking matter if a cop is black or not. How does that black act out in a white supremacist way? Like. Just because the police system was one way does not mean it is a certain way anymore. If you look at the statistics, unfortunately, the black community commits majority of the violent crimes. Uh, they are typically in poor economic situations, which means that they're in cities, not in suburbs, which means that there's more people around, which means that there's more that there's going to be more police officers in that area. Um, not only that, but because it's a higher crime area, it's more likely police are going to be in that area. Black cops are brutal. Historically and in contemporary society, they have always been brutal. Okay? They're just as brutal, if not sometimes more brutal, according to James Baldwin, than white cops. That doesn't mean that they're more brutal in general, but it doesn't matter. They're cops. Okay? They're cops. Yep. And this that is never do about the individual. This is. Does he just think that police training is... 50% the laws, and then 50% just mind-controlling how to hate black people? It's not about the individual. This is about a systemic problem. This is about what the police are designed to do. Get criminals, and don't get me wrong, we have no idea what was going on there. It was literally just, uh, according to the police report, he fit a description? No, am I thinking of something else? But of course, they never, ever, ever, ever want to fucking talk about that. They don't want to undermine that point. They don't even want to discuss it. They just immediately rush to, oh, everyone is talking about how these cops are black, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't matter. Well, let's not talk about it. Which is quite bizarre, since if you're going to claim white supremacy, typically white people are supposed to be involved in a claim of white supremacy, but apparently only the victim matters. You can still claim white supremacy so long as the victim is black. It does not matter who killed him. So presumably every gangland violence shooting in Chicago is the result. 
It, what the fuck? Wait, first of all, yes, every every gang shooting in Chicago is unironically uh, a a product of a white supremacist system. Yes, that is true. Unless you believe the inverse of that, which is that like black people are just unhinged and unruly and genetically uh, predisposed to violence. That is a straw man if I've ever heard one. So don't get me wrong. I fully believe that because of racist institutions in the past, the black community has been a certain way. And because uh, econ the economy, or was it, uh, low economic situations produce more crime, um, it, it's if you follow the logic, it just makes sense that black communities would be more violent. I mean, I believe he, I've heard Hassan even say at some point, um, low economic situations cause, uh, are in high crime areas. Which Ben Shapiro does believe, by the way, he does literally believe that he just can't say it because if he said it, then he would not be considered an intellectual. Everyone would understand him for the races that he is. So we can't cross that line. There's a reason that white people commit crime too, or poor white people commit crime too. It's not black people are inherently uh, more violent. It's low economic situations cause violence. Steven Crowder often crosses that line because he recognizes that his audience is really fucking stupid. And sometimes you got to really hammer in that point. But that's it. Ben won't cross that line, obviously. But, but that, that's it. What do you mean? Well, why? Why are? Why is gang violence a, a permanent fixture? I wonder. Why? It's not a permanent fixture, but no one's Which, by the ready way, to have uh, that talk. Like, as far as violence goes, it's not like Chicago is the most violent fucking city or Illinois is the most violent state. You know what I mean? There are plenty of more violent red states out there as well. Now, of course... Where you have the most black on black crime, and which he was talking about, which he is specifically talking about here, um, he's saying that that would be an area of white supremacy because it'd be black people shooting black people. You have to understand that violence is caused by material conditions. See, told you, low economic situations cause violence. This has been something that is studied and been talked about since ancient fucking Greece, okay? I don't know the history on that, so I can't, Holy I can't shit. back that one up. Ancient Greeks were fucking talking about, like, oh, well, you know, uh, it does seem like socioeconomic uh, conditions contribute to violence greatly. But Ben still, in 2023, is like, that's not true. That doesn't happen. It's actually because when every individual is bad. What? They're just boo-boo people. They're bad. What? They're mean. They're Do mean you... boobinis. No That's why they're doing it. Famous. And of course, somehow it's always black people that are well, being mean you. and 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 bad and aggressive. Fault of white supremacy. This is one of these broad arguments that is beautiful for the left because it involves no actual outcome. You don't actually have to achieve a policy solution. You just blame white supremacy out there in the ether for all the bad problems on the ground. And then all of your policy prescriptions magically amount to radical leftist diversity, equity, and inclusion nonsense. Here is Sarah Haynes saying huh. something very silly. <laughs> so silly. Dude, you're a villain, dude. No. Like, I'm just because you aren't able to comprehend propaganda what saying. Propaganda has basically turned into like being like a villain in a child, child textbook. You know what I mean? Like in a fucking La Fontaine story, you're the villain, you know? That's like, ha, this ha, ha, ha. imagine advocating for sharing and equity what a laughable notion ha 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 i hate equity it's like what the fuck why do we never like stop to be like dude what are you saying <laughs> like that seems insane to say why don't you feel uncomfortable just openly stating that you're a bad person he never said that uh, you are the Again, villain in every just story because you can't comprehend does not make him a bad person the years for all these cameras dash cameras body cameras and there is such a casualness to this aggression and i did watch it because i think you know, people say it was too hard to watch, or I couldn't watch it, and I thought that's the least we can do to watch what is going because I think people have to see it sometimes to maybe yes, be you need one, to have there's a lot of people that do realize this is cam, never acceptable, not okay. I think the fact that it was black officers shows it doesn't matter the color of the cop. Do, it's the victim. When they do get it's there. A it's, a, it's a victim. And meanwhile, Whoopi Goldberg, she uh, she of the, the I will tie back when white people are brutally murdered by the police force, that is also a product, a byproduct of white supremacy. Oftentimes we talk about how white supremacy kills white people as well. Okay? I'll tell you how. 
Because police are capital enforcers, enforcers for... Uh so again, this doesn't solve anything. Just claiming everything as white supremacy does not solve anything. Like, what policy change can you do with white supremacy? It's not going to make people hate criminals any less. Uh, capital. And because one of the biggest uh, byproducts of that enforcement uh, of the divisive politics that you need to engage in is the, the white supremacist justification for why you need incredible amounts of policing to begin with, that causes cops to be trained as an occupying force. And even when you're in a poor white neighborhood, because of all the justifications that you've gotten from prior white supremacist constructs of like, police have to be enforcers, police have to fucking kill people, police are always in the right when they kill people, that you end up also behaving that way against poor white people especially. You do. You do, and then you kill white people too. Like Daniel Sh So white supremacy doesn't even have to affect any minority according to Hassan. Favor in Arizona. Why is Twitch showing me a 27 month subscriber ads? First of all, I didn't even run, run the middle of the hour ad break, which I'm running now. But secondly, you're not currently subscribed. So I'm just letting you know. Chatterino 2.4. Genius sort of sage presence on the view. She's like, I'm not saying that maybe white people need to get beaten up for police reform to happen, but maybe white people need to get beaten up for police reform to happen. Yeah, so first of all, this is unbelievably stupid. We've seen many, many cases of police brutality against white people. In fact, some of those cases are significantly worse than what we saw with Tyree Nichols. The cops of the camps in World War II were not anti-Semitic because they were Jews. One here, these motherfuckers take the argument to logical ends. Of course not. That is, and, and they would say that that's an anti-Semitic thing to say. Yeah, that, that one case that I mentioned the other day. Of a What's up, my love? Hi. Oh, I know. Hello, I'm just listening to him right now, and he honestly. I don't think he is comprehending what Ben Shapiro is saying. Like, I understand Ben Shapiro talks fast, but I don't think he is comprehending anything. A white man killed by the police in a, in a hotel is a, the Daniel Shaver killing of 2016. Huh, interesting. I, this is one of the few instances where Ben Shapiro is talking about Daniel Shaver. Hmm. Well, I didn't even know he was going to talk about it, but because it's always on top of my fucking mind as a particularly brutal instance of police uh, brutality and police violence, I can maybe explain it a little bit further, even yeah, though I just I predicted that he was going to fucking say it, I guess, and openly mentioned it. The reason why that piece of shit cop got away with executing Daniel Shaver in broad daylight, brutally, after making him comply to his list of demands and then still murdering him regardless. The reason why he was able to get away with it and the reason why uh, Mesa Police Department actually still pays him PTSD uh, damages. That's right. He's still on the government dime. He's getting paid for the PTSD that the cop who killed Daniel Shaver, the guy who killed Daniel Shaver still gets paid. Is, it, is that number accurate? I thought it was like around three grand a month by the Mesa Police Department because he filed for damages saying he experienced his PTSD from murdering a pleading man, which he was of course not found guilty of. Remember that? Um, oh, I need to look now, into that. Holy of course, Black Lives God. Matter protested that uh, uh, unjustifiable execution. Hey, they look, were there. You message there. me. You know, but they were Black Lives Matter. Uh, there Daniel they Shaver that a in Discord department that uh, will engage in this uh, extrajudicial killing of a white person will certainly never think twice about killing a black person. Duh. That's kind of the whole point here. Okay, but to to help you understand it, the reason why he was able to get away with it is because police are seen as brutal enforcers. Oftentimes, the justification for that brutal enforcement is because they're brutally enforcing bad people. Substitute bad with black, and you'll understand. Hell yeah, Captain! Thank you so much. I fucking saw that and. I don't know if you were in chat at all, but I've already said fucking thank you for that shit. I can't believe it's been three months already. It doesn't feel like it. And exactly what justification cops have to behave the way that they do, which then ends up oftentimes killing white people as well. That's it. That's how cops also, uh, that's how white people are sometimes victims of white supremacy in the hands of the police. Wouldn't that just be police brutality? There are many other ways, of course, that white supremacy harms white people as well. The, uh, but a, a lot of them revolve around the animosity and the fear that is baked into your existence from the jump. White people are terrified of black people in many cases. I'm using like a, like a broad paintbrush here. I'm not saying all white people are, was are terrified of all black people. But like, there is this white started. resentment, white animosity. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, fucking my camera for some reason wasn't working. So I had to restart my fucking Streamlabs fear towards specifically black men and that animosity that fear is social conditioning okay and that social conditioning and that very real fear right right the, the white flight to the suburbs the fact that like uh, you know donald trump can so easily pinpoint that and say oh they're coming to your neighborhoods they're gonna come into your neighborhoods they mean black people are gonna come into your neighborhoods like literally Wait, when they say the black same people old, like, 1960s era fucking racism uh and biden as well exactly um that the reason why that is such a prescient and such a powerful motivator is because people are conditioned into thinking and believing that from the jump. Every aspect of our society is designed this way. Our education is designed this way. Okay, it reinforces that narrative. 
And that's a very powerful motivator for people. They're like, oh man, I am terrified of this. That's why we need to fund the cops instead of funding the social programs. That's why we need to fund the cops instead of funding the education system in underprivileged neighborhoods. That's why we need to separate through, uh, you know, invisible. So I've actually had a little bit of thought of this. So um, I believe we need to honestly just take a closer look at their budget. Um, honestly, because from what I do know, and I, I will preface this by saying I don't know a lot about the police force. I've, um, but what I do know is that they have a lot of useless equipment. Um, it's equipment that potentially maybe once once they'll get to use it, but they they get stuff that they absolutely do not need. Um, I feel like we need to cl take a closer eye on their budget, put more of it towards uh, training, because I believe the training course is only nine months. Um, and that way then we can actually police our police. Ways of redlining through the financial system, through the private sector. Redlining uh, has been around people. That's years. why we need to stay away from black people. And that only reinforces that animosity. As you are otherizing a group of individuals that you rarely ever contact, that you rarely ever see as human beings, and then you end up only seeing black people in television and media, and the way that they portray black people in television and media is oftentimes, again, reinforcing those stereotypes, violent predators, right? They also have the same thing with white police officers. And, and white when people. you are a captive audience to that kind of propaganda, they can justify anything. And don't listen to me say this. Listen to Lee Atwater, who openly has talked about this very famously. Lee Atwater was a consultant for, uh, uh, I believe, Nixon as well as Reagan. Harvey Leroy Lee Atwater is an American yeah, political Atwater. consultant and strategist for the Republican Party, and he was an advisor to the U.S. Presidents Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush and the chairman of the National Republican Committee, the Republican National Committee. Now, I'm going to show a very famous video of his that you have seen time and time again, but I believe it always bears repeating. There's a trigger warning. A lot of N-words in this one, okay? A lot, oh. of, a lot of N-word being uh, dropped in the video. I'm just letting oh. you know. Oh, stupid if it's just uh, I am trying to... What the fuck? Why can't I... What is happening with the... With... I'm literally going to skip it. I don't want to listen to that. This is CRT, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you CRT, okay? What is Healthy CRT? Dose of it. Oh, no. Is how white supremacy ends up hurting white people, too. Seen significantly worse than what we saw with Tyree Nichols. I mean, Tyree Nichols is really, really, really bad. Daniel Shaver is literally on the ground trying to comply with officers' orders, and they just murder him. So th this notion that white people have never been the victims of police violence is absolute bullcrap. It is not true in the slightest. No one has ever said that. Um, there definitely have been people that, have said my friends, that. Is a straw man that is known as a straw man. That's You've what Ben Shapiro is saying. This no one has said this, so I'm just going to make up a guy. The lady that is criticizing did not say that this. That challenge doesn't count for right now. It's only for no one is saying this. Just Ben saying it. But here's what this is the same exact thing that Republicans do all the fucking time. They can't find someone who's going to cheat and like fake become fake trans to like win a competition. So what do they do? They become that person. What? They literally do this. They're like, well, what if someone cheated? To, what if someone was fake trans specifically so they could win an athletic competition? I'm like, okay, there's no example of this. So then they do it. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? But you're, you're faking it. Do you have any proof of this? Why the fuck did you decide to do it on your own? Because you couldn't find someone. That's yeah, it. No talking about any it's of always that. Like this. It's what always talking like about this, right dude. now on uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Rich. Because again, everything for Whoopi, just a reminder. Whoopi Goldberg believes that everything in life is racist except Hitler. That is an actual thing that Whoopi Goldberg has said, because she believes that... That seems like a little bit of an uncharitable assessment of what Whoopi Goldberg has ever said. When Hitler went after the Jews, the Jews um, were white, so it was white on white crime, so... That was an uncharitable definition, or, like, explanation of what Whoopi Goldberg said. What Whoopi Goldberg said was, uh... Um... The Holocaust wasn't about race, which it clearly was, because Hitler viewed Jewish people as a specific, or as a different race. Cancel this James Cementage. If you look at his chat, well, yeah. Even though Whoopi Goldberg is not exactly, she's not exactly the best person for this kind of analysis, I'll be honest with you. You know? Yeah, I when will the brutality finally lead to some police reform from the ground up? Because clearly, it doesn't matter if it's a white policeman or a black policeman. It is a she said something along those lines. I remember I, I covered it. It was a bad take. It was a really bad take. She said a lot of dumb shit. Uh, throughout her very long career. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not here to defend Whoopi Goldberg. I don't give a fuck. Problem in the police, in the policing yeah. itself, you know, seems things 
don't seem to make sense to people unless it's... Yeah, Ted Danson was dating Whoopi Goldberg, and for, like, her birthday, he did stand-up in blackface. I do remember that. Somebody they can feel or they can recognize. Mm-hmm. But how many times do we have to... Do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? Again, white people get beaten pretty regularly by the guys. They do. I mean, it, the, the, the rate of white... So that was just another shot by the dumb thing where people said. Number of white said. people shot by officers unarmed is significantly higher. The number of black people shot by officers unarmed every... I wonder why. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder why. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, you think it's... First of all, what is this argument? Okay. Let's, let's analyze this for a second. So is that okay? No. Does that make it more valid okay. all of a sudden? Like, oh yeah, it's okay when white people get shot by cops. But secondly, there's this weird thing called, I guess, statistics or, or you know, the likelihood of this thing happening to uh, the black demographic versus the white demographic. Um, you know, there are more white people in the country than there are black people, Ben. So I wonder... Which community commits... What was it, 60% of the violent crime last year? I could be mistaken, but I believe it was 60%. What the rate is in comparison to the totality. Let me run that back. It almost feels like he slips up accidentally. It will do anything. Again, white people get beaten pretty regularly by the cops. I mean, it, the, the, the rate of white... Oh, oh, wait, the rate. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pretty regularly by the cops. I mean, it, the, the, the rate of white people being shot by the officers unarmed. The number of white people shot by officers unarmed is significantly higher. The number of black people. Oh, he changed oh, it. Oh, oh, dude, he does damn, bro. It. Damn. So Ben does know the fucking real uh, numbers. He just corrected himself and said, "Oh, the the number." Yeah, that's he crazy, did man. Change it. That's crazy. That's so weird, dude. You almost fucking accidentally revealed a truthful statistic for once in your goddamn fucking life on your stupid ass broadcast. You fucking piece of shit. Holy shit. I'm telling you, dude. This is like. Says the person who doesn't even want to go into the justif- or the reasons for it. Like, if you're gonna actually name that statistic, put in the nuance. Don't just be like, this is it. That's it. <laughs> hey, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I need to time you out for a second for that one. Um. How long did I do it? Oh, I definitely want to do 10 minutes. I can't have you be promoting violence in stream. How do I untime you out? Hold on. Let me go on to actually do go on to Twitch and do this shit. Hold on, I got this. Give me a sec. Shit. How the fuck do I untime that? There we go. There we go. Clap him that quickly? Come on, I want to hear more from this guy. Shit. Uh, His his freaking mod banned him so quick. How can you look at a situation where Ben himself knows the truth, okay, accidentally reveals the truth, but then fucking turns around and, like, correctly gives you the wrong information? Hell she's talking about, except that everything is always racism, always and forever. Anna Navarro, just to complete our, our round trip of the of the view. Anna Navarro says people would have done more to help a dog than of than of Nichols. Again, presumably the idea is because he's black, which is weird. I love the American Kurdish guy speaking in Turkish to me, telling me I'm the biggest racist because he's probably right wing as fuck. It's so weird, brother. What happened to you, man? You think these people fucking think you're a human? Yes, like, they do. What the fuck? They do. That's crazy. Apparently, you don't. Dude, if America gave a fuck about Kurdish people, you know, you would have Kurdistan already. You know what I mean? You would have your own uh, American back puppet state. I don't think he understands how. They don't even care enough to how, build that for you. You know what I mean? They just use you as a weapon whenever they want to in the Middle East. Relations work. That's crazy. Kurds back in America and Kurds back in Israel is is you know Can you never just get not back to the fucking it's like good video. Luck. EMTs who've been fired black. The people that came to treat him and didn't treat him. The level of inhumanity in watching this play out, and some of these war reforms. That's the part that people would have done more to help a dog out than they did to help Tyree Nichols out, and that is inhumanity. I mean, what, what I always like about these tapes is we all agree that what we saw was truly egregious. But the more you shout about it on TV, the more credit you get. That seems to be the rule. Again, we can all. Be- yeah, uh, it's like, why are you getting mad? Okay, we got it. We got the point. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it was bad. Come on, why are you getting extra mad? It's like he's more mad at the people that are fucking saying that this was insanely fucked up. Then he is at the act itself. That's crazy. Like, just for. That's because we know it's fucked up, but everyone's trying to bring this to a race issue when it's not a race issue. It's clearly just police brutality.
for one moment, like even remember, it's because it's listen, listen, listen. Remember, Black History Month. Ben can't, in under any circumstance, hand it to the opposition. Okay, main ops for Ben: Black people. Black History Month. He's gonna have to be as racist. Hey, as possible. thanks for the like, sub. You know, he he has to. He has to do it to him. I'll be outraged, and these people are going to jail. They're all being prosecuted. Oh yeah. The, the the kind of virtue signaling that you see on TV with all these people shedding what I, I imagine are TV tears is is rather egregious. What if you spent too much money? How's it going, dude? Get some of that money back? Oh my god, that fucking insane, dude! You guys think my segues at the top of the hour are bad? He doesn't even fucking try, dude. At the top of the hour, when I serve you with three <laughs> minute ad break, which by the way, look down at your fucking computer clock ads. and recognize that it's. You can do that for five dollars. You can do that for free. You can do that by getting gifted a sub. And all right, I'm, I'm good on that. Fucking, I can't handle any more of this on. I goes about to go to sleep. I need it. I hope you have a good one, Joseph. Hey, everyone. If you liked the video, please feel free to give it a like as well as subscribe to see future content. I'm trying to have new videos every Monday and Thursday as well as check out the live stream Monday, Thursday, 9 p.m. Central. Thank you.